Injection molding simulation will fundamentally help you determine if your part design is injection moldable. In this video, we will briefly review what makes a good candidate part, discuss the importance of common design guidelines, and show real-life plastic part examples produced by injection molding and other manufacturing techniques. Let's get started. Ideally, injection molded parts are relatively thin walled with a uniform nominal wall thickness. Following this simple guideline will help reduce the risk of cosmetic or structural defects and also part distortion, otherwise known as warpage. It is also beneficial if the part design has an easily definable cavity outside or core inside half for ease of mold construction. Part geometries, especially sidewalls perpendicular to the mold opening direction, should also contain consistent draft angles so the plastic part can easily be released from the mold during ejection without scrape or drag marks. Sharp corners should be avoided. The use of radii or fillets for plastic part design is important to avoid manufacturing issues and stress concentrations, which could lead to premature failure. Unfortunately, the complex functional or aesthetic requirements of a part often lead to designers breaking many of these rules with detrimental consequences downstream in bowl design and production. The use of simulation can be very valuable in reducing or potentially eliminating these risks. Injection molded plastic parts are nearly everywhere in our modern daily lives and used in a vast array of industries. However, so are plastic parts that are made by other manufacturing processes or deviations of injection molding that are currently not supported within Fusion 360. Although we cannot show every part that can be injection molded, let's take a look at several examples to review good and not so good candidates. Let's start with plastic buckets, storage bins, and lids. Are these good candidates for injection molding simulation? Yes, these are thin walled applications with an easily definable core and cavity for injection molding. If you turn a bucket or storage bin around and look at the bottom, you will often notice a tiny pointy stub in the center as evidence of the injection location. Next, we have a plastic handle housing. Is this suitable for injection molding simulation? Yes, the thin shell-like nature of housings is easily injection moldable, even if the design requires assembly or stiffening features such as bosses or ribs. All right, you're getting good at this. How about plastic bottles? Think laundry detergent or shampoo bottles. Are these injection molding suitable or not? The walls are thin and uniform, but no. Bottles are typically not injection molded, but manufactured using a related technology called blow molding. This manufacturing process is not currently supported for simulation. Interestingly enough, the bottle caps are typically injection molded and are indeed suitable for injection molding simulation. How about long profiles such as tubes, pipes, or siding? Again, the walls are thin and uniform, but not suitable for injection molding simulation. Long profiles with a constant cross-section are usually manufactured using the extrusion process, which is currently not supported in Fusion 360. Mmm, cookies. Sorry, I got distracted. We are supposed to be looking at the plastic packaging holding those delicious cookies. What are your thoughts on this plastic packaging in terms of suitability for injection molding simulation? This one is also a no. The manufacturing of simple plastic shells without any features like ribs and bosses are often manufactured with a process called vacuum forming, otherwise known as thermoforming. This process can be used for creating very thin but simple structures like you find inside packaging or single-use plastic cups. Although there are many other plastic manufacturing processes, 
Injection molding is estimated to be used for 80% of the plastic parts being produced today. In this video, we reviewed what makes a good candidate part for injection molding simulation, explained the importance of design considerations in the mold design process, and distinguished, with examples, everyday items that can be injection molded or produced by other molding techniques not suitable for injection molding simulation.